Hello students, uh, today we are going to study blood clotting factors and their role in coagulation. Now in order to understand functions of clotting factors, it's very important to understand the process of coagulation because these clotting factors they are required, they are essential for the process of coagulation. So you must watch my video on coagulation or the clotting of blood. Now there are two pathways uh, by which uh, clotting of blood is initiated, extrinsic pathway and intrinsic pathway and all these clotting factors uh, they are proteins present in the blood uh, they are required for the clotting of blood and there are 13 originally identified clotting factors essential for the clotting of blood now let's talk about these uh, clotting factors one by one now the first clotting factor is fibrinogen Fibrinogen is a, a soluble protein. It is soluble in the blood. Uh, it is a plasma protein synthesized in the liver. Uh, fibrinogen is common for intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathway. Uh, now when we talk about the function of fibrinogen, the soluble fibrin, fi, fibrinogen is converted to insoluble fibrin. And uh, uh, the fibrin uh, monomers, they form fibrin mash network which entangles platelets, blood cells, plasma proteins and finally forms a clot. Uh, the second clotting factor is a prothrombin. Prothrombin is also a plasma protein that is synthesized in the liver. But uh, important here to note that uh, synthesis of prothrombin requires uh, vitamin K. Now prothrombin is also common uh, for intrinsic as well as a extrinsic pathway. Now function of prothrombin, prothrombin is converted to thrombin and thrombin in turns uh, convert fibrinogen to fibrin. Uh, the third factor is called as a tissue factor uh, or thromboplastin. Now tissue factor or the thrombo thromboplastin it is a complex lipoprotein and this tissue factor it is uh, released uh, from the injured blood vessel wall uh, due to external injury. Uh, and therefore, it plays a, a major role in uh, clotting of blood due to extrinsic pathway. So, tissue factor is a complex lipoprotein and it is released from disintegrating uh, subendothelial tissue and fibroblast of blood vessel wall. Uh, that is, a tissue factor is released because of injury to the blood vessel wall because of, uh, because of external injury uh, like for example, trauma or accident. Now, tissue factor... Uh, it is uh, required in the extrinsic pathway and uh, when we talk about the function of uh, tissue factor, it is a primary initiator of uh, coagulation in the extrinsic pathway. It is must uh, for the extrinsic pathway. Uh, the fourth clotting factor is the calcium ions. Uh, these are the in inorganic ions in the plasma and uh, uh, calcium is uh, acquired from bones and diet. Uh, calcium is common. Um, that is, it is required for extrinsic as well as the intrinsic pathway and uh, this calcium ions, uh, these are essential for the formation of thrombin. Clotting factor 5 is also called as a labile factor or uh, proacelerin or accelerator globulin. It is a plasma protein synthesized in the liver. Uh, clotting factor 5 is also common for intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathway. Now when we talk about the function of clotting factor 5, now in order to understand the function, please refer to the common pathway of coagulation uh, that has been explained in my video on uh, coagulation of blood. Now clotting factor 5 is essential for the formation of thrombin uh, in the presence of calcium and uh, factor 10a. Clotting factor 6 uh, does not exist. Then uh, talking about clotting factor 7, uh, it is also called as a stable factor or proconvertin or uh, serum prothrombin conversion accelerator. Uh, this is a plasma protein synthesized in the liver and uh, synthesis required uh, the presence of vitamin K. Uh, this is uh, uh, clotting factor 7. It is essential for the extrinsic pathway and uh, uh, function of the clotting factor 7, activated uh, clotting factor 7 that is 7a along with the tissue factor activates a clotting factor uh, 10 in the extrinsic pathway. Now the clotting factor 8, 
It is also termed as anti-hemophilic uh, globulin or anti-hemophilic factor A. It is a plasma protein synthesized in the uh, liver and other tissues. Uh, it is uh, essential for the intrinsic pathway. Now function of the clotting factor 8. Uh, clotting factor 8A uh, complexes with uh, 9A to activate uh, the clotting factor 10 in the intrinsic pathway and the deficiency of clotting factor 8 uh, causes a disease called as hemophilia A. Uh, this hemophilia A it is a genetic disorder. Uh, then clotting factor 9 uh, termed as plasma thromboplastin component uh, that is PTC. It is also called as a Christmas factor or anti-hemophilic factor B. It is a plasma protein synthesized in the liver and the synthesis requires the presence of vitamin K. It is essential for the intrinsic pathway. And uh, function of uh, clotting factor 9. Uh, clotting factor 9A complexes with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, 8A to activate the clotting factor 10 in intrinsic pathway. Then uh, clotting factor 10, uh, it is termed as a steward prover factor and uh, this is a plasma protein. It is uh, synthesized in the liver and uh, synthesis uh, requires the presence of vitamin K. Now clotting factor 10 is common for both intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathway and it is the first component of a common pathway. It activates prothrombin uh, to thrombin in the presence of calcium and uh, activated clotting factor 5. Uh, now the clotting factor 11 is termed as plasma thromboplastin antecedent that is PTA or anti-hemophilic factor C. It is a plasma protein synthesized in the liver. It is essential for the intrinsic pathway and uh, activated clotting factor 11 activates uh, uh, clotting factor 9 to 9A uh, in the intrinsic pathway and deficiency of clotting factor 11 uh, causes hemophilia C. Next clotting factor is the clotting factor 12. It is called as the hegemon factor. It is a plasma protein. Uh, the source of uh, uh, clotting factor 12 is unknown. It is essential for the intrinsic pathway and clotting factor 12 it is the first component of intrinsic pathway and clotting factor 12 is activated by the activated platelets. Now clotting factor 12 also initiates clotting in vitro in contact with the glass. Uh, then the clotting factor 13 that is a fibrin stabilizing factor. Uh, it is a plasma protein. It is a protein that is present in the plasma and uh, uh, platelets. Uh, the source of fibrin stabilizing factor is unknown and uh, clotting factor 13 is essential for intrinsic as well as uh, extrinsic pathway and uh, function. And this uh, clotting factor 13, it is necessary for cross-linking of fibrin uh, so as to form the uh, fibrin mesh network which is responsible for the formation of clot. Uh, so this is all about uh, uh, clotting factors and if you find this video helpful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. You can ask your questions in the comment section. Uh, I will answer your uh, questions and thanks for watching this video. Thank <laughs> you.